And welcome to the ETF Edge portion of Halftime Report. I'm Bob Pisani. It's a confusing moment. As we enter June, fund flows are all over the map. What are retail investors trading now? Let's talk with Anthony Denier. He's the CEO of Webull. Anthony, the most traded ETF on your platform and just everywhere right now is the ultra short QQQ. That's a symbol SQQQ. Yep. Three times the inverse of the S&P 500 on a daily basis now. Why have retail investors suddenly embraced these leverage and inverse ETFs, particularly on the NASDAQ 100? Uh, there's a few reasons for that, Bob. Uh, most notably, traditionally SPY, very broad base, was the ETF of choice for retail investors. Now with the volatility that we're seeing, we're seeing these retail investors utilize the inverse and the leverage ETFs to get access to more uh, beta to the stock as it starts trading and the markets start moving. Now, NDX 100 is the most leveraged sector within those group of sectors. So they, they go towards the Qs and the SQs because of their leverage and their inverse. Yeah, so it, you've told me that the active trader is still very active on your yep. platform. But you said the fair weather trader is gone. What, what do you mean by that? I mean, I know it's been a rough year for the retail investors. Mm -hmm. The average assets under management on your platform has gone from 5,000 per trader to 3,000. Right. So that's a big change here. What are you and other trading platforms doing to try to keep investors on the platforms? That's right. Um, there were a lot of new investors that came to this market over the past several years. A lot of them have been losing funds and walking away until they see some sort of normalcy back to markets. Active traders are still very active, utilizing tools like the ETFs, like the SQQQs. What I think you're going to see from retail platforms like Webull is you're going to see us start moving towards more uh, regular deposits, reinvestment programs, and eventually more passive investment platforms catered to investors that don't want to be so active and don't want to have their nose in the phone all day long. Passive investing platforms. It looks like the retail trader is starting to grow up a little bit. A little bit. Now, we're going to have much more on what retail investors have been doing coming up with Anthony on ETF Edge at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Plus, learn how retail brokers are diversifying into passive investing and even payment systems. Also joining Anthony, Nicholas Colas. He's the co-founder of Datatrek, who will update us on ETF flows and give us his outlook on earnings in the second half. All on ETFedge.cnbc.com.